Hi, Megan at Megan's Creations here. Just showing a quick tip for you today. Sometimes you might get pre-made clusters, like my, my, my pre-made clusters. Um, my creative team member, Tao, makes those, and she does a gorgeous job of them. Um, but sometimes you might have, to get the variety you want in a cluster, you have thin and thick items, and so it's sometimes hard to add a drop shadow to a pre-made cluster and have it look the way you want. Um, so for example, here's a quick page from, uh, this is a retired kid of mine, Retro Halloween, but uh, I was trying to catch up on my scrapbooking <laughs> with a quick page by one of my creative team members, and I wanted to add this fun cluster by Tao. Um, underneath uh, the title that I've made out here. And you see that the cluster has some big elements like these flowers, but it also has these skinny um, ribbons and then also the skinny stitches. I don't like to have a strong drop shadow on a stitch. It's a stitch. It's really close to the uh, to the paper. So um, you first you might you know add a drop shadow and think, well, I want it to be um, pretty far because of the paper elements. Um, but um, then maybe it doesn't work so well for things like this, like the stitch and, and the ribbon. So here's what you do. Go ahead and, and drop shadow it um, the way you want the majority of it. And then right click on the layer effect and go create layer. And um, now the drop shadow is on its own layer. And so what you can do is you can go through and erase, and maybe you don't want to do it so harsh. You could reduce the hardness. Um, it creates a kind of fuzzy edge around your eraser and lower the opacity. Just so you can gradually work on, okay, let's erase the drop shadow here. See, this allows you to adjust and modify the drop shadow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase it right here for the for the, the stitches and uh, maybe go ahead and erase this. We're going to maybe come back in and, and do a little starker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do another drop shadow. So again go back to it, drop shadow it, and now think about how do I want my stitches drop shadowed. And usually I go about 8, oh, not 82, <laughs> 8, 2, and 15. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe just go 5, 1, 8. Something really, really low for the stitches. They, I want them to be really close. And that's not going to work for my string, so I'm probably going to do this whole process again. So click OK, and then create a layer. And now I'm going to go back to uh, hardness 100%, opacity 100%, because I want to erase the uh, this drop shadow all except for where it's around the stitches there. So I'm just coming through and erasing the rest of this drop shadow here. And this is also, I don't know if you've seen people who do um, two drop shadows. They have a, the main drop shadow in the main direction they like to do it. And in the opposite direction they have a very shallow drop shadow. And so this is how they do it. You can create a layer with the drop shadows and then add another one. Okay, so there's my drop shadow basically just for my stitches. Okay, and then one more time. Drop shadow. And this one I'm thinking about my string. And I usually like my string to have like a lot of distance so it's like bouncing off the page kind of thing. Um, a little like that. Okay, give it some three dimension. So click OK and again create a layer so that we could go through and erase the, the other parts. You know, I don't want that dark shadow right there on my, my stitches or around here on any other part of the cluster. I just want it on my, on my ribbon here. I think it's a little tricky around here. Might you know, zoom in to try to better get that drop shadow right there where it meets up with the ribbon. But um, that's the basic idea that you make, you put the drop shadow on its own layer and then you can erase and modify it so that you can make a drop shadow 
that matches the elements of the cluster better. So I hope you found this helpful and you can just you know tweak it, tweak the method for your needs and play around with it. And we'll see you next week.